dear finance professionals and students welcome to podcast of fca deepak rao a practicing chartered accountant daily news and updates for 18th july 2024 Foreign investments in Indian government bonds have climbed more than $1 billion in the two weeks since domestic sovereign debt was included in a JP Morgan index adding to the $11 billion yield influencing inflows since the inclusion was announced in September 2023. Karnataka government halts job quota bill amid industry criticism. The bill aimed to reserve jobs for Kannadigas in private firms but faced pushback from industry veterans. Debate continues over the potential impact of the proposed legislation on the state's economy and tech industry. Overseas fundraising by Indian firms is experiencing a robust revival in 2024 following a lackluster 2023. This resurgence is primarily driven by strong demand for high yield bonds from international investors amid improving liquidity conditions and reduced hedging costs. Indian companies raised rupees 32,619 crore through overseas bonds in the first half of 2024. surpassing the total amount raised via such instruments in the entire 2023 which stood at rupees 31218 crore in comparison rupees 45237 crore was raised in 2022 and rupees 1.05 trillion was secured in 2021 In a bid to simplify the tax filing process, the Income Tax Department has released updated e-filing utilities for ITR 7. This form is specifically for persons including companies required to furnish returns under section 13394A, 13394B, 13394C or 13394D of the Income Tax Act 1961. The new utilities aim to enhance user experience and ensure compliance with the latest tax regulations. RBI has issued 3 revised master directions on fraud risk management for the regulated entities which cover number 1 commercial banks including regional rural banks and all India financial institutions number 2 cooperative banks and NBFCs including housing finance companies These master directions are principle based and strengthen the role of the board in overall governance and oversight of fraud risk management in regulated entities. These directions also emphasize the need for a robust internal audit and control framework in regulated entities. This podcast is sponsored by Sound of CA. We share because we care. Vande Mataram, Jai Hind.